The internet is a pretty big place. With so much information at your fingertips, there's no telling what you'll find on the web. Some things may be interesting, and others may be a little too weird. That said, here are 8 websites that you should probably stay away from if you're someone that's easily creeped out. Lane. Perhaps the scariest thing about most of these websites is the lack of context. Take Lane, which without knowing its source of inspiration, may leave you feeling a bit uneasy upon viewing the site for the first time. With or without context, the site does give out some creepy vibes. Have a look at this aesthetically pleasing and really weird website. As you might have noticed, there tends to be an extensive use of an anime-like character on this page. Well, that's because the site is dedicated to a sci-fi anime titled Serial Experiments Lane, in which Lane, the main character of the show, meets a girl who's transferred her existence or soul onto the internet after committing suicide. The premise of the show is pretty weird, but it's not as creepy as this website. Be sure to check this out if you like being spooked and pleased at the same time. Last words. If you're someone who's afraid of flying, then it's probably best that you avoid visiting this website. PlaneCrashInfo.com is a site in which has a collection of recordings from airplanes that were moments away from crashing. Basically, these were the final words that were said by those on board before plummeting to their death. It's a pretty morbid site, but for those that like getting their interest piqued by this subject, then by all means go ahead and check this out. Just know that some of these recordings may be hard to listen to, considering that these were from individuals that saw their life flash before their eyes. Hashima Island, just off the southwest coast of Japan, lies 505 uninhabited islands. And among those islands is Hashima, a place that was once densely populated and later abandoned in 1974 for economical reasons. Although we can't visit the island in person, we could still do so virtually. In 2013, Google released some brand new Street View photographs of the place. Thanks to Google, there's now a website dedicated to exploring Hashima's ruins and the things that were left behind. From a primary school to a place that served as a house for coal miners, there's plenty of creepy things you can find on this virtual tour. And who knows, you might find something that's out of the ordinary. Keep in mind that these are real photographs, so if you do find something unusual or frightening, you'll know that it's real. Beauty and Chaos. Words cannot describe this website, but it's still nonetheless creepy. Beautyandchaos.com is best described as a site that's very minimalistic, with a hint of creepiness and a dash of unpredictability. Refreshing the site repeats the same message as the previous page, but sometimes with different images that may be a little too creepy to look at. It's nothing disturbing, just a bit unnerving. You get this sense that there might be a scary pop-up soon after refreshing, but thankfully there's none of that. The purpose of this site is unclear, but it seems to be an attempt at getting people who like surreal things to visit the site. And doubtless, this site successfully achieves that effect. It's very surreal and somewhat unsettling. Exit Mundi Ever wondered how the world could end? Well, there's a site for that. Exit Mundi is a collection of end-of-the-world scenarios that give a detailed explanation on how life on Earth will cease to exist from a future in which men no longer exist, to an asteroid that destroys the moon, resulting in droughts and famine. These are just some of the ways that the world could end. Although some of these scenarios seem very unlikely, there are some that actually make you think for just a sec. It's the plausible theories that really get to you. For instance, take Farewell, which is a postulated event stating that humanity will soon achieve immortality after having done so many medical advancements that extend our lifespan. Ironically, reaching immortality is our demise, since doing so will cause us to crave death. In other words, we'll become so bored of living that we just want to die. 
It's a pretty morbid thought, and you'll find a lot more theories like this on the site. Birth and Death What better way to satisfy your unhealthy obsession with death than by looking at a site that reports the death of individuals in real time? WorldBirthsAndDeaths.com, as the name implies, is a site in which shows you the location of places around the world where either a birth or death occurred. It's somewhat dehumanizing looking at a death report and seeing it quickly replaced by a birth report as though the death of that person was something trivial. Of course, looking at this for quite a while does make you appreciate life knowing that it can end so soon. The Truth You might have heard the old adage that knowing the truth sometimes hurts. Well, knowing the truth in this case doesn't hurt, but rather makes you feel uneasy. Truthism.com is a site in which claims to know the truth about everything. From how we actually think and hold on to our beliefs, to our actual so-called creators. There's a plethora of information mainly about how society works and the secrets that are found within it. Now, judging by the layout and the style of this page, it doesn't seem to be that credible. However, we shouldn't judge a website by its aesthetics. Perhaps the person behind this does know a thing or two about our world that we don't. It doesn't hurt to be a little open-minded. The site is nonetheless interesting and somewhat thought-provoking. Sentimental Corp This has to be one of the most absurd and extremely creepy websites online. Sentimentalcorp.com is a very unusual site. The website doesn't seem to have any meaning or purpose, which makes it even more unsettling. As for the site's content, there's lots of videos, most of which are lengthy and strange, that seem to contain subliminal messages. Doubtless watching these videos is very unnerving, as what's shown on them makes no sense. But as you continue to browse the site, you'll find a lot more things that are bound to give you goosebumps. For instance, if you click on the second to last link, you'll find yourself looking at what appears to be a collection of rituals dedicated to goat worshipping, which is pretty spooky. There's so much on here that words can't describe, so if you're curious to see what else is on here, go ahead and check it out. However, take caution. Like I said before, there's lots of unsettling things on here. So perhaps have a friend with you so that it's not so scary. Thanks for watching. If you know any sites that are too scary to visit, let me know in the comments below. That said, I'm Bizarrebub, and I'll see you in the next one.